Yes. yes. All right, looks like we got to all keep from both. And here's Leyline of the Guild Pact. Uh, that resolves its pass to you. Basic Island Pass. Yeah, well, uh, people get all dressed up for these events. Seat of the Pass. Oh, that's what we're doing. Seat of the Synod Pass. In the top center of your screen, you'll see Yorion Sky Nomad was revealed. This is a Yorion build. Your sign of Draco. Uh, I will attempt to counter. <coughs> that works. Pass to you. Force pitching mystical dispute. Or not mystical dispute. Uh, the improvised one. What what the hell is it called? I forgot. Uh, Holy crap. What the hell just happened? I just saw the freaking chat go... Crazy. Audrey just gifted 51 subs? Is that right, or has there been some kind of an error? <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. Holy crap. Number two on our all-time leaderboard now is Audrey. Amazing. Yeah, the channel freaking exploded just now. For a second, I thought we like lost internet or something. There was so <laughs> there was so many chat notifications. Thank you, Audrey. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. In case anyone's losing track of what's going on, a patchwork automaton was hit by solitude. And a an Urza Saga is pumping out constructs now. And now Urza Saga is going to search. So Audrey is the weekly gift sub leader, and we we definitely added a round, I would say. Because I won't. It's very useless at this point. We'll be watching some more magic after this. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you, thank you. All right, Shadow Spear is found by Urza Saga. I will tap two. I will attach it to the one that can attack. Oh, yeah. And then proceed to combat. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight construct coming in. That's pretty pretty good. Uh, yeah. And you get eight. Flashing a bone master. It loses everything. Yep. I'm a Number two on our all-time gifter leaderboard, Audrey says, celebrating my record performance at the Bifrost 2K top four as my best yet. You know what? We're celebrating together, Audrey. Well done. Thanks for all your support of the channel. Um, okay, looks like a Bowmaster is coming in here and a Ponder is resolving. The tapped land is a basic island on the Beanstalk side. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, one, two, three, four. These are seven seconds. Yeah, but uh, the shadow spear. Oh, it gives it one more. Yep. Um, which means. Yeah, shadow spear was a uh, a pump on the construct. Ponder shuffle. As. People are getting subs, and uh, the gif of me as a kid at one of my one of my birthday parties playing Magic keeps popping up on the screen. I really like that gif. <laughs> Fetch to eleven. Yep. <clears throat> All right, now a fetch. Oh man, more lines everywhere on this table. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, yeah. Okay, Mystic Sanctuary. Only target I think is Ponder, which is not very exciting. 
Okay, life in the loam, get back a flooded strand. Um, I mean, one of the, sh the Shadow Spear gives trample, so one of these constructs is going to hit hard. Yeah, so, that's like, no, yeah, because I sacrificed one, so yeah, so, yeah. Oh, okay, there was one. Okay. Oh, twice, yes. Sorry. Two. Um. Urza Saga ticks up to two. Case of the Filched Falcon. Shock. We've seen this card appear on stream before. When it enters the battlefield, investigate to solve three or more artifacts. And then once it's solved, two at a blue, sack it, two plus four, four plus one plus one counters on target non-creature artifact becomes a bird. Non-creature artifact and four, 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 five. Mm -hmm. um, or give it plus four. So we will solve this turn, most likely. There's a saga. And go into attacks. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are seven sevens, and so this is an eight eight. Yep. Um, block the seven seven. Yep. And I have to take. Oh, the sorry, eight. They're, sorry, they're eight eight sevens. Oh, sorry, I forgot this one. Okay, so I will take um, nine. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So you yep. take those. All right, taking nine from the equipped with shadow spear construct. It has lifelink. So this will now count as solved. Mm -hmm. and oh, then pass so there's two Case of the Filled Falcon is solved and pass the turn. Ponder is being cast now. Yes. Uh, yep, that is Case of the Filch Falcon. And it is now solved, so David will be able to make a bird. Or make a construct on the end step. Most likely to make a construct and then make a bird uh, on the next turn, is my guess. I don't even know if it's going to be relevant. Beanstalk needs like Supreme Verdict and swords or something. all right floating a mana gets the scoop there was more than enough power coming in eight cast up a game looks like david's about to keep six put one on the bottom Magic tournaments should be like being at the library. Just quiet. You whisper. Leyline of the Guild Pact. Pre-game. Misty Rainforest. Pass the turn. Ancient Tomb. Patchwork Automaton. Um, force. Pitching a Leyline. 19. Uh, Forget this. They cannot deal with. Uh, okay. okay. Force pitching ley line, so Patchwork Automaton is countered. Ley line of the Guild Pack, a really cool card. Five cards? Wasteland. What's yeah. waste? Pass to you. Alright, seems like a good wasteland. There's. An argument maybe for waiting for Urza's Saga, but no land drop from David means no mana. 
So a pretty good wasteland. Draw, play. Twice. The same boat as you are. Um, brainstorm. Yep. 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 All right, found a land, Odawara. Oh, yeah? All right, that's a basic forest found by Misty Rainforest. Tapping three, Uro. I don't know, folks. This card, this card might need to be banned. Uro is just so ridiculous. Sure. We're gonna get to the ENT. Who's with me? Uh, Patchwork Automaton comes in. Um. Yeah. Um, and then like. <laughs> yeah, Uro is crazy. Yeah. All right. Pedal and Mox Opal. Two triggers on the Patchwork. Pass the turn. Just getting the offense up and running. There's a saga we'll tick up next turn. This is probably all those years of loud music. Well, Ro has enough food in the yard. I'll try as well. Now another ponder. I bet you feel good pondering off that forest, don't you? That sword. Happy with this over. You use your go ahead. Oh, you do. Uh, I wasn't sure it was um, this, this uh, person, what was her name, uh, Amy, top aided with um, I saw she was playing the 60 card and version. And you just hear her go. Uh, basic planes play brainstorm. I'm like, fuck you. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah, Layla on the guild pack is neat. Uh, David and a couple other people at the ch uh, at the shop were chatting about it the past couple of weeks, and uh, we have we have at least two different players playing these beanstalk decks with Leyline, I think, and. Uh, Plays like Basic Planes, Brainstorm are possible, and it's just kind of funny. Metallic Rebuke. Control of Haste for um, You got it. I'm just curious. Uh, so you. Get it right. Yep. Legacy Staple, Metallic Rebuke, folks. Because this is in play first. Yeah, yeah. Flood Moon comes in play. All my non basics mm -hmm. will be mountains, but all my basics will still have all the land types. Well, you still have to buy a break already. Right? Bigger than that? Only yep. if I have a basic in play. Or it will cost uh, two if I have a basic in play. Yeah, it kind of accentuates up the beanstalk, that's true. Uh, Gift leader, Audrey. Thought so cast on the stack. I have four. This tap sounds. One, two, three, four, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll play land for turn. Um, turn for three? Yep. 18. So David has a construct, can make another one next turn. 
The basic planes on the beanstalk side and top left. Um, so two colors, prismatic ending, pay the ward. Prismatic ending and paying the ward. Patchwork is gone. And then pass to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, another construct resolving chapter three now. And a fetch. Fetch twice. All right. Maybe playing around pithing needle here. Or is there some kind of a response, meaningful response to this Urza Saga search? I can't imagine we'll see an opposition agent. Only two mana open. What could it be? It's probably just playing around Pithing Needle, I guess. Okay, gonna, gonna do a Mystic Sanctuary, changing the order of the fetches, of course, to have this make sense. The all every basic land type. Are they all? Or is it? Uh, oh, I was I was reading the um. I just was reading that they. Oh right, they all they all have every basic land type. That's right. That's right. Okay, so the Mystic Sanctuary is fine either way. All right, so Mystic Sanctuary uh, is going to trigger and put Prismatic Ending back on top. Okay. That's a basic mountain. The other basic found. He's a. Uh, I, I believe they're from Frexia All Will Be One, these basics. They, they look pretty cool. All right, Haywire Might is found. <laughs> okay. That's neat. You can blow up the guild pact here, potentially. Yurion's still in the companion zone. Oil Slick basics from the box set. Yeah, that sounds about right. I knew uh, some friends when that came out that bought that. Um, case of the Filch Falcon. Um, okay. Case of the Filch Falcon on the stack. Power Blast. Respecting the Falcon, folks. Respecting the case. It's countered. <laughs> yep. Um, down to 11. All right, an attack for 5. Down to 11. When does Haywire might fire off? I guess now. <laughs> uh, it's just exile. Oh, exile. Is it you gain two or three? Uh, two. Oh, okay. I thought it was three. And then uh, uh, press All right. Haywire might takes out the Leyland of the Guild Pack. Pretty neat. Yep. Hot boys. one go. Prismatic ending removes a construct. That'll protect the life total a bit. And lower the power toughness of the other one for now. It's currently a 3 3, I believe. Yep. Looks like only one card left in hand for Beanstalk. Three cards for David. One of them was an Urza Saga. Pretty good. Kappa. Uh, Kappa Cannoneer gets countered on the stack with Royal Elemental Blast. 3 3 Construct gets in there. Living off the top now. Just plays a land, fetches, goes to 7. Potentially going to escape Uro by finding a green. Seems decent. <laughs> Yeah, blowing up the uh, guild pack prevented Uro for a moment. I kind of missed that in the moment, but makes a lot of sense. Uro will escape now. One, two, three. Well, one, two, three, four, five. That happens. Yeah, you go to ten. Draw a card. Patch. 
Do the door out? No. And then put this in hand yep. and pass to you. All right, then Yurion out of the companion zone into hand and pass the turn. Nurse's Saga will tick up. <clears throat> Just on time. Just on time. Burrow might be tough to beat. Construct is currently a 3 3. Guys, well, I'll start on six. Uh, Take two. Mm -hmm. Unlicensed Hearst? That's why I said just on time. <laughs> just on time. Unlicensed Hearst. Uh, we've seen this card quite a bit on today's stream. The card is really good in the current format. Unlicensed Hearst. It's become a le legacy staple, folks. Seven. Um, well, guys, start with a punch. It's become maybe the best vehicle in Legacy now, right? The unlicensed hearse? I can't even think of what another vehicle would be. Green, one more. Alright, that's up the beanstalk right into the glare. So draw a card off that. With Uro on the board, there's a chance that we start really getting crazy here with once up the Beanstalk is on the battlefield. Let's see how this goes. Two white, blue, black, green, red. Sign of Draco, trigger. Sign of Draco, trigger the Beanstalk. Yeah, yeah, seven's uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a land because I drew the ponder and cast it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play yeah, yeah, yeah. Land. Go to attack step. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Currently yeah. a 4 4. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Yeah, you can play I'm sorry? Oh, I just said it's currently a 4 4. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can make it a 5 5, but mine is hexproof and trample. Lovely. Um, swing first. <laughs> Uro has hexproof and trample. All right, attacking with Uro. Trigger that. Draw off a row. H42 says, I'm awaiting the 90s MTG secret lair where Hearst becomes unlicensed forklift. Yeah, the forklifts are a big part of the 90s MTG lore now. And uh, real ones know. The real fans know about the forklift. Come on, two germs? <laughs> if you don't know about the forklift, you're not a real 90s MTG fan. Right, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> big part of the lore now all right so a double block with constructs on uro uro will die i think both constructs should die right oh wait uh no they were uh, okay this one's a four four all right it's fine i almost sounded the alarm but we're good unlicensed source can now pot potentially eliminate uro permanently Liberty Island. Uh, I, I, I needed to take this. Uh, more later. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, the unlicensed first. Alright, uh, in response, I'll eat yep. uh, Uro and, uh, we... Alright, awkward if that prismatic ending was drawn off Uro, but, uh, unlicensed first is gone and Uro is gone, so, there's that. Did the construct die then? I don't know, I lost track. There's a chance the Construct was supposed to die, but I don't know. Math is hard. All right, Construct created. Urza Saga pops. Let's see what we find. What? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, sometimes it's louder. Construct at the end of turn was a 3-3 with one damage on it, says Aqualif. Okay. We're all good. Shadow Spear is found. Feedback loop. Not really necessarily here. Attack with a lifelink trample six six. 
Take six. I mean, it's likely from your damage. Okay. There's uh, two constructs to deal with. Sign of Draco is just a 4 4. <laughs> Up the beanstalk on the battlefield, trapped under a little bit of glare. I know this beanstalk deck has Solitude and uh, a couple of other blinky creatures. Yurion was in hand, but unlikely that it's going to be very exciting to play right now. So not mm -hmm. in that scenario where I played out the element. No, no, obviously. Yeah. In, in, in the case of the draw. In the case of the draw, I know that there's that show. Um, what do I need to do? Oh, it's so great. You did? Not bad. Uh, or well, Yurion would be Vigilance Hexproof with Scion on the battlefield. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Leyline's gone. So it would, yeah. It was, oh yeah. So it, it would still be uh, yeah. It would still be vigilance expert. Never mind. All right. Solitude pitching triumph of Saint Catherine. Going to hit the equips construct now. Okay. Did we trigger the beanstalk? I missed that. Swords the other one. Swords the other one. Okay. We're in business. And then one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Link. Oh, actually, trigger and then one. So, yep. trigger, draw one. Okay, drawing off Yurion, and then gonna blink up the beanstalk. Attacking with Scion of Draco. Beanstalk comes back, draw another card, pass. Pretty good. That was a pretty good turn. You could. I mean, I'm combating it with. So a Yurion and a Scion of Draco to fight through now. Mmm, Campa Cannoneer is scary. They trigger up there. It resolves. And it's joined by Thoughtcast. Pretty good. Um, sadly, yes. Sadly, yes. Thoughtcast resolves. Um, look at your top three. <laughs> like a brainstorm on top. Could potentially find an answer. There's plenty of mana to pay for Ward, potentially. Ward four on Kappa Cannon here. Oh, yeah. That's the one we just And if you play something, it becomes unlockable. Yeah, it's six six. Yeah. Um, let's do. Yeah. Green, <laughs> <laughs> blue, blue. Yeah. 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 green. Because I feel like yeah. aiming two years is yeah. Five. Five. Yes. Yeah. Florian, trigger. So trigger one, and then one, two, three. Florian revealed plus the beanstalk trigger. That's living right there. Um. <coughs> What's the follow-up though? This Kappa Cannoneer could potentially attack the lethal. <laughs> Only black creatures would have lifelink. Leyline of the Guild Pact is gone. Yurion just has Vigilance. And Hexproof. Leyline binding on the Shadow Spear. Trigger. Leyline binding Shadow Spear. Trigger the beans. Hmm. But I do agree with your assessment. Shadow Spear is gone. It's not bad. Protects the life total a bit. Cannoneer is currently a 5-5. Five five. Go to attacks. Yep. And this has Vigilance, so swing at you for 8. Big attack for 8. Needs a way to beat this Kappa Cannoneer. Pass to you. 
Okay, one artifact, two artifacts. Cap is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. Cap it becomes an 8-8. Eight, eight. Attack for 8. Can't be blocked. Okay, brainstorming here. Maybe desperate. I wanted to source my old guy, but I forgot I didn't have any way. You got it. I think I was like, I was like. Uh, the, yeah, the possibility of swordsing his own creature was not available. So, eight cast gets the match. GG's.